Hello everyone, welcome to In Focus YXE, your Thursday night most favorite game show. I have some bad news for everybody tonight. Um, you're stuck with me. Damien's not available to be with us tonight. I apologize, uh, those that are personal Facebook friends of mine. I did mention that Damien was going to be here on my Facebook post. It turns out I wasn't telling the truth that he's not able to join us tonight. But congratulations, I'm Ian Roach and I will be your only host this evening. And thank you so much for tuning in to watch the game show. We have some exciting changes tonight. Well, we're going to try something different. Maybe not so much a change, but we're going to try something different. Um, for those that have not played before, here's how it works. We're going to show you a blurry photo from around Saskatoon. And over time, the picture is going to become less blurry. If you think you know what it is, you comment. First person to get it right will win a prize. Um, something a little different tonight. Not only will we give out a prize for every correct photo, we're going to give out uh, a shirt. We're going to give away a shirt, and we're going to draw that randomly based on all the comments we receive. So even if you're wrong, you still have a chance at the end of the game uh, to win a shirt. And it's going to be one of our uh, No YXE shirts or one of the shirts from one of our other brands. So again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to just quickly... That's kind of the rules, basically. The I, I'm the sole judge without Damien here, although he might, you know, pop in the comments and offer an opinion. But um, at the end of the day, I'm the final arbiter of who who is right and who's wrong. But if you actually do want to take a look at the the complete rules, they are available at noyxe.com forward slash forward slash contest hyphen rules. So we're going to get right at it here. I, I'm just going to mention again that just by commenting you can win a shirt and we have at least four comments now we'll get to those but i think probably the best thing to do right now is i'm going to try and get the first picture up so here we go there it is there's our first picture and it's pretty blurry to start with already and i'm going to tell you that um it is kind of blurry because i'm afraid with this picture if if it wasn't really blurry it'd be super easy and what do we have here? Doyle says, uh, here we go. Thank you, Doyle, and thanks for watching again. And Doyle saying hi to me. I'm here solo, Doyle. Feel free if you can let me know that you can jump in. I'll send you a code, you can jump in with me. Here we go, the countdown's on and the picture is going to change. There it is, a little less blurry. Roman's saying, cool, I think he's looking forward to the night. <laughs> My friend Dennis is saying, I look fantastic. And, uh, Ari wants to know if you can win the shirt I have on. No, you cannot win this shirt. And this shirt has a bit of a history for me, actually. <laughs> uh, and uh, Ari, you can't have the shirt because apparently the people, some people like that I have the shirt on and they like that I have it, what I'm wearing. Okay, we're going to pause here. I'm going to pause in this photo and, and let, it, let things catch up here. Um, one night I was watching Stephen Colbert and he had the same shirt on. So I'm really partial to this shirt. And I can't remember where I bought it, but I was really excited to find out that Stephen Colbert and I had the exact same shirt. I actually took a picture of the TV. Maybe someday I'll show that. Maybe I could blur that picture and show people. Aha. Uh -huh. So here we go. I'm going to let this play out a bit more. Um, just a reminder, all you have to do is comment to win a prize. And we're going to go back to the comments here. First of all, Doyle says, I've got nothing. But you know what, guys? We are going over here, and it's time for the confetti. This could be a quick night at this rate. We have a winner. I'll pause the photo just so it gets a little less blurry. Here's the correct answer. If I can find the correct answer, maybe I'll turn the confetti off. Or popcorn. Damien likes to call it popcorn. I miss you, Damien. Uh, over to the comments. A little trickier by myself. There's the correct answer. Anthony, congratulations. It is indeed a Broadway B. And I'm back on camera here, and I'm going to try and find the reveal reveal picture here. What we mean by that and is I think they're actually bike racks, and I'm going to call it up here. There it is there. That is the reveal. By the way, that's, that's my new 2021 Chevrolet Equinox in the background there that you see. And um, Anthony, you are a winner. I'm just going to get rid of your comment here if I can remember how to do that I'm down over here. Uh, Doyle, Doyle always loves the popcorn. Anthony's happy that he's got a prize and Doyle saying congrats. And don't forget if you, all you have to do, it's a new tool that we have with our software here is, um, 
all you have to do, I got to try and hide Doyle's comment. There we go. It's gone. All you have to do is enter a comment, right or wrong. It doesn't even have to be an answer to the question. And you could win a prize. And tonight we're really happy that, that Anthony is first winner tonight. And I think our first prize is going to be this, Anthony. This is exciting. It's a water bottle, but not just a water bottle. You take off this part at the bottom here, and you add fruit, cucumber, whatever you want. I think some people were talking about adding bacon. You get it in there, and the water kind of gets in there, and you squeeze it around. So you can have vegetable, fruit-infused water, bacon-infused water. I think there might be some health regulations against the bacon, but uh, so you may not want to do that. Okay, so really excited that we have one winner. We have two more photos to go. I guess if I'm not talking a lot, the game goes a lot quicker than uh, when Damien's here when we're uh, spending time chatting. Uh oh now I have to find the next photo, which is over here, over here. Okay, here it comes. So we're going to get the next photo up. There's some comments. We'll get through those comments, but it's with the delay that we have in the game, I'll start the next photo. So here we go, and we'll get to the comments. Where are we in the comments? Uh, Anthony's confirming, yes. They are bike racks. And Doyle, I will not be silenced. Please, Doyle, play, 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 play. Because someday you're going to actually win, Doyle. And I really appreciate you, you coming on and playing. Meanwhile, as people are looking at that photo, let's kill some time. Did I mention you can win a t-shirt by commenting? It's a new feature in the, the software we have. We want to try it out. So after the game, it's going to automatically enter people and there'll be a draw and there's a fancy little screen. So we're going to try it. It works for this and we might involve it in some of our other shows. Before we go any further, here's a factoid. In 1837, U.S. blacksmith John Deere creates the first steel plow in Grand Detour, Illinois. I thought that's kind of uh, apropos for the time of year and being from Saskatchewan, that'd be kind of an interesting factoid. 1837, the first steel plow. Incredible. And I'm going to hit play here. I'm not sure what I'm going to take for an answer here. Uh, Doyle is saying that's a lot of blue. There is, you know, and I, I will share that this picture was taken at dusk. Somebody saying looks like an aquarium. And we have another answer here. Yeah, it doesn't kind of look like an aquarium, Dayton. Anthony, Nutrient Building or the RBC Building down by the river? Well, I don't know if you can give a correct answer. Hmm, this is, this is tough. This is tough. Okay, I'm going to pause the picture because clearly we have a right answer. It's just, do you accept Nutrient Building or the RBC? That's kind of two guesses. We have another one just after that. Lights on the high rise, new high rise on liver, river landing. Yeah, we're, that's the right building. And by the way, the answer is the RBC building. The towers at river landing, Roman said. So that's great. <laughs> Christy's complaining that Anthony stole the answer. And then he's saying, sorry, I'm not sure if that's acquiescing that, that maybe, um, that maybe that, that he shouldn't get the right answer. Uh, lights on new high rise. We already have that. I love your fun facts. And uh, Christy says she's stealing. Either way, I think it is time for some popcorn. I'm going to find the popcorn. There it is. Dun, da, da, da. Who should we give it to? Who should get the prize? I think <clears throat> this is a tough call. We have Anthony that says Nutrient Building or the RBC Building down by the river. RBC part's right, but it came across kind of as maybe, maybe not um, 100% you know, firm that that's the answer. So it's either that or the next right answer. We would accept this lights on the new high rise river, or high rise on river landing. He didn't exactly name the, here's the problem. Ari didn't name the building. Oh boy. What are we going to do? Well, I think I'm going to award the prize uh, based on the fact that Anthony already has one. So I'm going to go with Ari. Congratulations, Ari, you are the winner of the prize. And I'm going to get to the reveal photo here in a second as soon as I figure out how to turn off that comment. And my apologies, uh, Anthony, that um, uh, I, I overlooked you for the prize. But here is the actual reveal photo of what it looks like if I can find it. Here it is here. Actually, I'm not sure if that's the same photo or not. But it is the RBC, what I would call the RBC Wealth management building is taken uh, around 
what time would it have been around 8 39 o'clock last night and it's wonderful you know we're all dealing with this pandemic but i find for myself that as as we get more light and more warmth that things seem a little more bearable so there we are with that and um yeah so congratulations ari you're the winner let's see if we can get back to the photo and i'm going to remove that so i'm back up you have to look at my ugly mug for a little bit what do we have here <laughs> christy uh christy gets the prize this feels a bit like we have steve harvey opening for the winner song well, i'm not sure what that means but i'm sure it's funny christy <laughs> christy gets the prize is what christy's saying give it to damien uh damien's not here tonight damien doesn't get the prize and already maybe after i tell you what the prize is you might want it Doyle, congrats, and says, Dennis, you should be the next host of Jeopardy with my indecision. Anthony is congratulating you, Ari. <laughs> and so Anthony, some kosher bacon, Ari says, as a consolation. Uh, it's oh, beautiful pick, by the way, is what Dennis is saying. Sylvia is saying, congrats, Ari, but it's not Ian's shirt. Good. I, I would give you the shirt off my back if it wasn't the shirt, Ari, but it's not this one. What else do we have here? I wasn't the one that wrote that. I'm not sure what she means by that. Maybe somebody's hijacked her. Ari, congratulations. You're the winner of three, the package of three produce bags. These are bags to take, replace the, uh, and the three different sizes. Replace those plastic bags you get in grocery stores and you get your produce. There's three different sizes here. They weigh virtually nothing, so it doesn't impact the cost. There's a little tiny one here, so you can go get your tomatoes and, and other fruit and save the environment. Uh, and it's a collection of three different sizes. And Ari, if you can get a hold of us, we'll, uh, we'll get in touch with you uh, and figure out how to get those uh, bags to your place. So we get another comment here. Doyle says, nice. I think he might have some bag envy. <laughs> that didn't sound right. I almost sounded rude. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this here and I'm gonna try and get the other photo going because we do have that delay. So the third and final photo for the evening, and my goodness, this is a quick game tonight when there's less talk. I am really excited. I can't tell you who, but next week we do have a guest, maybe even up to three guests on the show. So we've done this in the past where we have a photo, and um, after the photo, uh, it's the first photo's guest, we bring on guests, or guest, we bring on guests. So after the photo was guest, we bring on guests that have some sort of relevance to the photo. And we've teed one up for next week and we're really excited. I can't tell you who it is because that'll help you get the photo. Anyway, I digress. Let's take a look at this. Here's the next one. Oh, isn't that blurry? And I love it. And don't forget, don't forget, wow, LOL. I think that's what my bag envy comment maybe. <laughs> and Doyle, if you really want the bags, Ari's uh, uh, threatening to give them to you. Would you like my prize? The gift of giving is worth more than the winning. So I'll let you two fight it out in the comments uh, between Doyle and and Ari. And of course, we have do have a rule that you can only win two prizes in any given evening. And so far this evening, uh, we've had one winner for each of the prizes, uh, one separate winner for each prize. So that means that everybody has a chance of winning the final prize. So what do we have here for a photo? We have <laughs> we have a bit of I would call that teal, maybe aquamarine. There's some green at the bottom. Is that, is that a, like a putting green maybe? It could be a putting green. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe it's just grass. At the top, there's a bit of blue and a bit of washed out clouds maybe. Uh, Doyle sounds like, uh, uh, Ari sounds like Doyle is going to let you have your, uh, your, your produce bags. Uh, they're a hot item. They really are. They're really kind of cool. Uh, no, but thank you. Uh, Doyle's guessing green briar. Very good guess, but I don't think that is the correct answer. And Moon Lake, haha. <laughs> Moon Lake, Doyle's guessing Moon Lake. He's going around the golf course, of course. Maybe it was a bit of subterfuge when I said it was maybe a putting green. It's not a putting green. <laughs> Sorry for that, Doyle. <laughs> Lakeview Golf, it's not a golf course. So we're getting the countdown to the next photo here. I'm going to get rid of the logo in the top corner. How do I do that up there? Yeah, I like that. Uh, I think Ari's making some sort of funny comments here. Yeah, we're going to pause this and let it just pause there for a second. Uh, the irony of me winning is lost on everyone. 
irony of me winning is lost. I might need a bit more details there. Another factoid while we kind of wait for some more answers to get in. And don't forget, I'm going to put it up again. Just by commenting, you can win a shirt. And I'm really excited to try this feature out um, at the end of the, the evening to try and give away one of our shirts from noixe.com. Here's another factoid. 1937, Hindenburg explo explodes at Lakehurst, New Jersey, killing 35 of the 97 on board and one on the ground. I'm kind of weird, but um, there's the line, there's, I, I can't remember if that was actually said, but uh, the, the famous line from the reporter, all the humanity. I'm of the age where that line means more to me from WKRP in Cincinnati than it does uh, for the actual Hindenburg thing. But of course, there's a tragedy, uh, some sort of spark ignited. Uh, uh, I think it was the helium and uh, it crashed and it's a horrible, horrible event. Okay, I'm going to hit play here. Um, I'm so lost. Kiwanis Park, I'll guess from Anthony. Dayton, Dayton has the same last name. They might be related. Gabriel Dumont Park, nope, that's not it. I think after this change there, I'm going to pause it there because I think we're going to start getting some guests. Roman is thinking the Little Stone House at the U of S campus. No, that's not it. Anthony, as my favorite saying for this game show, every Thursday, you are on the right pond. You're skating around the right pond, but that is not the correct answer. It is not Mayfair Pool. And Paul, Dr. Hackett, thank you, is hydrogen, not helium. I guess if they had helium on it, um, <laughs> everybody would be talking like Donald Duck for the whole whole journey. Uh, you can hit play here on the, on the photo. The photos, by the way, they're now they're, they're on a timed loop. And we have a guess here. We have Doyle guessing water slides. There is a water slide in the, for, the photo. That's not enough. Karen's guessing the uh, forestry farm and that is a good guess but not the right answer but it is time for the confetti because we do have a right answer and we have a two-time winner this evening I believe there it is there's the right answer Ari congratulations the lady pool water slide is the correct answer and mere seconds behind we had a pile of other answers coming in we had Dayton with the correct answer. But after Ari, we had Dennis coming in. <laughs> uh, Doyle, sad that he doesn't know where the outdoor water slides are. Dayton guessing Riversdale, but I thought he already guessed it correctly. And there we go. People are happy for the popcorn. And I'm going to turn the popcorn off. Congratulations. And we got all the way down to the final photo uh, this time. we got to figure out how to turn that off. There we go. And we'll remove that. And you should be back to me. And I'll find the reveal photo. There it is. It's the Lady Pool water slide. I think that it's there once. Uh, my family, we kind of frequented more uh, Mayfair because it's in my neighborhood. But yes, hopefully soon, depending on pandemic and other things and weather, of course. Um, hopefully someday we'll be able to get back to these, these pools. It's uh, certainly something I know I've missed during this pandemic. Let's go through some final comments here. Uh, Christy, and my goodness, 20 minutes. This show is going to be over quickly. Hopefully you're not tuning in too late. Uh, Christy thought it was the pool at, at, at Riversdale. That's not the correct answer. Very close, though. The water slides are all the same color and certainly blurred up. They they kind of um, would look the same. Paul Hackett. Good job, Ian. Well, thank you, Dr. Hackett. That's wonderful to hear. And Doyle Benson says, great job. So now the only thing left is for me to figure out how to do this draw. I guess I got to get rid of Joyle's answer. So I'm going to try. It's the first time ever doing this draw thing. So I think I have to go here. I press that button. I do that. I get out of the warning and I go over here. Here we go. We'll just wait maybe another 45 seconds or so for people uh, to get a chance if you haven't commented. Uh, great crowd tonight as well. Always a friendly group. Thank you, Doyle. Oh, and Ari, I, I don't think I told you what your prize is. Did I? You you won the prize, and you are congratulations. I think you might have won this earlier in the year. You're the proud winner of a twenty five dollar gift certificate to Wendell Clark's Classic Grill and Bar. And I always talk about how great the food is there. Uh, we do a podcast there on Monday evenings, so uh, I always make sure to get up there. And if I can, I can have some chicken wings. Uh, right now they have uh, another uh, special nine ninety five for shrimp popcorn shrimp not not popcorn shrimp but. Uh, they're deep fried and it's just so good. The shrimp is just fresh. The wings are great. All the food is fresh. So congratulations. 
Um, the $25 gift certificate goes to Ari. Wait, isn't this, what's this? Is this like the exhibition where I can trade one prize? <laughs> okay, so yeah, two prizes. So maybe you should offer me your two prizes for my shirt, just to see. <laughs> Woohoo! And Doyle can have my tea bags. They're not tea bags, Ari. They're beautiful produce bags. Here they are. This is the small one. They're great. Okay, I'm going to attempt to share my screen here. And there it is. And we're going to try the draw. Apparently this tool will work and I'm really excited to see how well this works. Here we go. I press this button. No last entrance. And here we go. Dun, dun, dun. It's cycling through, cycling through. Slowing down. We're getting close. And congratulations, Dennis Gilbertson is the winner. And look at that. Now, how to get off this? Oh, over here. Okay. Here we go. Congratulations, Dennis. You are the winner of a T-shirt, noyxe.com T-shirt. Um, please, uh, if you can, email us at our email, and I'll give you that email now. Uh, as soon as I get to it, here we are. In the know at noyxe.com, get a hold of us, and we'll make arrangements for you to, to find that shirt. Uh, on our website and order it in a couple weeks. It'll be here. So that's wonderful news. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And maybe because we're so early, I'm just going to run through one more quick factoid here. 1990, 1966, the Rolling Stones release Paint It Black in the U.S. So another factoid on this day in history. Um, reminder to some upcoming shows. Uh, Sunday, we have Slow TV YXE. I don't know if you watched last Sunday, but uh, I prepared... Uh, surf and turf, lamb loin chops, and scallops over a fire pit. So there might be more fire pit action this, this Sunday, if you're interested in that. Uh, Monday, 6 uh, p.m., we have YXE Sports Podcast. So please feel free to, to watch that. We have a great talk show Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Uh, in Arabic called Let's Chat. Uh, that show is currently off air, and it will return May 18 after Ramadan. Green Room YXE. Great show with uh, Johnny Sinclair, Leslie Stanwick. It airs Wednesdays at 7 p.m., so please, please tune in. And uh, we had it on this morning, a wonderful show. It's on next Thursday, Sports Line YXE with Linda Walker. And uh, today the guests were uh, the, the captain of the Saskatoon Blades and uh, President uh, Colin Priestner. And uh, if you're still watching, Doyle, you can remind me of the, the captain's name. Uh, whose name suddenly escapes me as I'm on air staring into a camera. Uh, so that's kind of it from here. Thank you so much. We're back next Thursday with three new photos. And uh, if we like this draw thing, maybe we'll continue doing this draw thing because it kind of worked really well. I'm not sure why it was red. It should have been purple or theme. We have some comments left here. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, Dennis is happy that he won. Oh, Dennis, there's Dennis happy. He won. Uh, Dennis being congratulated. Ari says he'll uh, watch, uh, reach out to us. And Chase Wooters, that's his name. Yes, Chase Wooters. Uh, thank you very much. That's the captain of the Saskatoon Blades. Uh, he was on the show today. So that's it from here. I'm going to roll the closing, and we'll see you next Thursday. Remember, we're really excited because next Thursday we have a photo, and they're going to bring on some guests after. I can't tell you who they are, but it's going to be a very interesting conversation, and hopefully – if they have time, they'll stick around and help us with the final two photos. That's it. Bye for now.